Hello, my name is Destiny, my pronouns are they, them, and you may see my cat Noodle on the video, his, his pronouns are he, him, and today we're going to talk about my gender uh, journey, my uh, sexuality journey, and how I uh, present myself. So um, let's get into it. I am non-binary and I'm 29 years old. I grew up in Washington State and now I reside in British Columbia, Canada. I am pursuing hormone replacement therapy, also known as HRT, to go on testosterone. Um, but I've been on my um, my non-binary journey for the last two years. I came up to friends that I was non-binary and wanted they then pronouns to be used two years ago. And then last year I came up to my family. And then this year... I am starting to go to my practitioners and making sure that they refer to me as they, them. My next step is to change my gender marker, but I want to do that after I go on hormones. Really what started this all off is when I got breast reduction surgery. I went from an O cup to a C or a D. Originally we were supposed to go to a G cup. We took out four pounds of flesh and uh, it was a lot. But for the first time in my life I could breathe. And going through something that, you know, very real, people do die during routine surgeries, um, I realized that I needed to live my life the way I wanted. I mean, what could stop me now? I, I got rid of my chest. <laughs> um, I still have boobs, but I can bind now. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a boy. I wanted to be a boy so bad. I had only guy friends, and I didn't really hang out with girls, and I wanted, I wanted to be just like them. I wanted to be strong like them. I didn't, I didn't want people to hurt me anymore. So I tried dressing like a boy for a very long time, and then I became hyper femme, like super hyper femme, like trad wife hyper femme. I tried to live my life like it was the 1950s. And I looked cute, but it wasn't really who I was. Um, during this time, I was struggling a lot with feelings of being too feminine or feelings of being too masculine. And like I was wearing a costume and I felt really uncomfortable. When I was 16, people would refer to me by my gender like, oh, you're smart for a girl. And my response was, it doesn't matter what my gender is, um, I am who I am. Right? I preferred if people just call me Destiny and not by my gender. So it didn't matter to me. I've been saying that since I was 16, that if, if I had it my way, people would just refer to me by my name, not my gender. And then... I started finding out when I was about 17 that people went on hormones. So I got really, really interested in hormone therapy and I watched everything I could on YouTube. I think at the time it was like uppercase chase and jammy dodger were like the two that come to mind and they're still there, but those were the ones that were like visibly trans and actively trans on the internet. So I'd watch a lot of their stuff. And I still struggled and thought I was a boy. And then I watched the Brendan Tina story, which is very sad. It's called um, Boys Don't Cry. And it's about a trans man who gets murdered for being trans. And it's a very sad story, but it made me not want to ever come out as non-binary or trans or pursue any type of hormonal therapy. I was scared for a very long time. And then, you know, society and the media really reinforced that. That people didn't like trans people, that they thought we were weird, that we were unclean. And it was hard to see. So I denied a lot of who I was. But then I... I had my surgery and you know I didn't die I realized that the only person stopping me from living my life is me 
But at the end of the day, I have to live with me and no one else. And I want to be happy when I look at me. So this is my last week before hormone replacement therapy. And I am going on testosterone, low doses of testosterone to help alleviate some of my gender dysphoria. Some of my dysphoria includes my menstruation and cramping, um, how high pitched my voice is, my shape of my face. Um, some of my dysphoria is not being able to gain muscle or any of that. So some of the things I'm excited for is a deeper voice and the fact that my face will change and wild bottom growth seems pretty awesome. Some of the things I'm afraid of is society not accepting me, not being loved anymore, not liking myself once I'm on testosterone, losing my lip, losing my hair, growing hair, <laughs> um, losing my bum, losing my chest. These are things that I don't want to lose, but I know will change. So I had breast surgery last year, and I don't want to get any more breast surgery. Um, unless my boobs get bigger, but I'm perfectly happy with the size that they're at. And I think they are doing well for me. I can bind when I want to bind, and when I don't want to bind, I don't have to bind. So that's fine. bottom surgery. Now, I thought this was phalloplasty. Uh, bottom surgery is definitely something I want to have done, but I am still debating on if I can have kids. So if I can have kids, I won't, but it all depends on like my endometriosis and the testosterone. I might never be able to have kids and I'm okay with that. But I don't think I'm ready to have the surgical removal. So I'm, I'm hopeful, but cautious. Um, what else? So we talked about binding. We talked about HRT. We talked about chest surgery and bottom surgery. Those are some main things that we talk about when we talk about an AFAB non-binary HRT person is someone who is going on HRT. We talk about if they want their chest and their uh, ovaries and uterus. So the next thing I can move into is my sexuality. Because my gender is actually pretty fluid, but I like non-binary. It feels good for me. I use they, them. With that being said, I like everybody. As long as you're a good person and we vibe, I, I might have romantic attraction to you. So in a sense, I'm a bit demi, but I call myself queer because queer is an umbrella term and it's an all-encompassing term. So I don't have to feel bogged down by any label or have to fit into a specific box. I can love people and for who they are. And when I say I'm queer, most people understand what that means. I found out I was queer. Uh, I always knew that I liked people, but I realized I was queer with the Express Yourself Madonna music video. And uh, that, that really changed my life. Uh, if you haven't seen that music video, definitely go watch it. Because Madonna is hot and in latex. She ties people up. So that's fun. Uh, but yeah, so I've had relationships with men, women, non-binary people. Um, I can't say that I'm good at any of them, um, but I'm learning. And part of that is learning how to have boundaries and voice your expectations and voice your wants and needs, but knowing that the other person has wants and needs too. I'm keeping my name. I know destiny is not what you think of when you think of they, them pronouns, but this is my birth name and I'm keeping it. 
because destiny is the only thing that's ever felt right to me. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about my transition or want some reassurance about your transition, let me know and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thank you.